Welcome to Catholic Shrine Basilica YouTube channel. Basilica of Our Lady of the Mount, Bandra, Mumbai, India. The Basilica of Our Lady of the Mount, Bandra more commonly known as Mount Mary Church, is a basilica of the Latin Church in India, located in the Bandra neighborhood of Bombay, Mumbai. For over a hundred years situated atop a hillock near Lands End Bundra, overlooking the Arabian Sea is Mount Mary's Basilica a beautiful edifice in stone that simply stands out in its grandeur, an abode of tranquility, peace, reassurance, and hope. Mount Mary's, affectionately beckons one and all. No invitations are required to spend time with our Blessed Mother. Once inside this beautiful church even a single glance at Mary with the child Jesus is a feast for the eye, both natural, and that of faith. Thanking God or simply paying homage with the simplest or rarest of gifts, Mount Mary's provides ample scope. For those who are in need of divine grace, to all of you who are troubled with the problems of daily life, come, and worship at the Shrine of Mary. She is the mother of all mankind. She will grant you solace understanding and hope. Mother Mary leaves no one unaided. Architecture This minor basilica has morphed from a simple shrine into the current beautiful semi-Gothic structure that we see and enjoy today. Over the years, devotion and love for Our Lady have helped scores of people contribute towards its development and upkeep. This editorial helps explain the architecture of Mount Mary's. These pictures of the basilica have been carefully shot and chosen, it puts into perspective dimensions, materials, embellishments that have worked, in harmony to create this edifice in stone. History Original Oratory 1570, with the Jesuit fathers beginning to take care of ministry in Bundra with headquarters at Santa Ana Church, near the old slaughter house, a simple oratory made of mud emerges at the Mount near Land's End, for private devotion only. A wooden statue of Our Lady, depicted as the Mother of God was brought by the Jesuits from Portugal and placed on the main altar. This could be considered as the first edifice, which, immediately begins to attract a large number of devotees. 1573, the priest in charge of Bundra area was Father João Diaz S.J. 1587, the Mount Mary Oratory is placed under the authority of the parish of Santa Ana. 1616, the increase of Christian population required the bifurcation of the old parish of Santa Ana. The parish of St. Andrew was thus created and the Mount Mary Oratory was placed under the authority of the new parish of St. Andrews. Chapel, 1640, the Mount Mary Oratory is enlarged into a chapel, second edifice, for use of the increasing number of devotees, as well as for the Portuguese garrison stationed in the fort at Land's End. 1665, Bombay Island is handed over to the British by the Portuguese. 1700, Bundra, was invaded by a pirate army of the Musket Arabs who, hoping to find treasure, attempted to ransack the shrine. When disappointed in their expectations, they chopped of the right forearm of the statue, thinking it was of gold. They also intended to set fire to the church, when a huge army of bees attacked them so cruelly that they were forced to abandon their evil intentions and leave. As the statue was damaged, it was probably stored in the lumber room, and, in order not to disappoint the pilgrims, the statue of Our Lady of Navigators from the side altar of St. Andrew's Church was brought to the mount. 1739, the last Jesuit vicar of St. Andrews, Father Thomas Villanova S.J. leaves Bundra, and a local priest, Father Paolo Diash, took charge of St. Andrews Parish and the Mount Mary Chapel. 1741 to 1761, public devotion at the Mount comes to a standstill because of political instability and a lack of priests to look after the shrine. Church 1761, Mount Mary Chapel was rebuilt for the third time. The broken statue of Our Lady of the Mount was repaired by placing a detachable child Jesus on it. The statue that was brought from St. Andrew's Church was returned to its original place. 
This same year, the Archbishop of Goa, Dom Antonio Tavera de Neva Brum de Silvera, established the confraternity of Nasa Senora de Monte attached to the chapel. 1848, Father Antonio Joaquim de Silva, curate of St. Andrews since 1839, was known as chaplain of Nasa Senora de Monte. He now lies buried in the sacristy of St. Andrews. 1848 to 1852, with financial aid from Sir James Gija Gbhoy and family, in gratitude for favors received, a road was constructed from the Bundra end of the newly built Mahim Causeway to Mount Mary Church. 1869 to 1879, Father Ursamo Francisco Xavier who was now chaplain renovated and embellished the chapel. He probably added a glass portico in front of the chapel. 1882, the chaplain, Father Elias Hippolito Fernandez, from Chun, renovated, the chapel yet again. 1885, Mahim Causeway came to be built, as well as the linking of the railway line, causing a greater influx of pilgrims to the shrine. 1895, a major devastating plague bro broke out in Mumbai, Minor Basilica. 1902, Despite the plague the fathers of St. Andrews go ahead with the project of building a better edifice on the mount. The project is taken up by Father Placid Hilary Enriquez, vicar of St. Andrews, with the help of Father Elias Braz Dias, and Father Pedro Antonio Fernandez. This foundation stone was only laid on 11 May 1902 by His Grace Archbishop de Sebastião José Pereira of Damon, who lies buried in the shrine. The architect was Mr. S. N. Chandapoy, and most of the materials were brought by sea and lifted up with the help of bullock carts and donkeys. 1904, the present church, the fourth edifice, is completed and thrown open to pilgrims on the occasion of the Golden Jubilee of the promulgation of the dogma of the Immaculate Conception. 1943, Archbishop Thomas Roberts gave the shrine an independent status under a rector of its own, in the person of Monsignor Dominic Tusa. First rector of the shrine, 1950, Monsignor Placidus Edward Fernandez constructed the rectory, Marianella. 1954, inauguration of Oratory of Our Lady of Fatima, on 5th December, opposite the church. This was the occasion of the Marian year when for the first time the statue of Our Lady of the Mount was taken on a pilgrimage to all the parishes, of the city, suburbs and Vasai. On 2 December the statue was brought back with pomp to the shrine, where Cardinal Valerian Gracias warmly welcomed this beloved Mo Mavli back in its abode. On 5 December, the Cardinal crowned the statue of Our Lady and, the Child Jesus with gold crowns. That same day the church was given the status of a minor basilica by Pope Pius XII. 1964, Pope Paul VI, on a visit to Bombay for the International Eucharistic Congress, graced this beautiful basilica with a visit. 1986, Saint Pope John Paul II, on a visit to India, visited the basilica. Feast Day, 8th September. The Feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary is celebrated here on the first Sunday after 8th of September, the birthday of the Virgin Mary. The feast is followed by a week-long celebration known locally as the Bundra Fair and is visited by thousands of people. The Bundra Fair, annual feast. The term Bundra Fair refers to the celebrations that are connected with the annual feast of Our Lady of the Mount on 8th September, known as the Feast of the Nativity, birth, of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It becomes an important historical event, because with the birth of Mary comes the dawn of our salvation, since Mary's son, Jesus, would be the savior of the world. If Mary had not consented to be the mother of God, to bear Jesus in her womb there would have been no redemption. Mary's answer of yes to the angel at the Annunciation ensured mankind's deliverance from sin. We do not know the exact birthday of Mary, and so 8th Sept has been fixed by tradition. Devotees will therefore throng to the Basilica on this day, 
A Shamiana erected for the purpose ensures that the pilgrims can celebrate Mass in the Shamiana and then enter the Basilica, to pay homage to Our Lady. But this feast is too solemn to be contained in a day. The official feast is celebrated over an octave, i.e. an eight-day period, from the Sunday after the 8th of September to the next Sunday. And this eight-day, celebration is preceded by a nine-day novena of prayer directed to the Virgin Mary. That makes the Bundra feast last a total of 17 days. During the novena, the masses are both in the mornings and evenings, during the octave, masses are only in the mornings, leaving the basilica free for darshan especially for those of other faiths. Things to do People who suffer from any disease bring wax figures depicting their illnesses to the Mount Mary Church in the hope that they would be cured. For example, a person with a broken leg will bring a wax figure of a leg. Mass time Weekdays 6.30 a.m. 7.30 a.m. Sundays 6.30 a.m. 8 a.m., 9.30 a.m., Personal Prayer, Darshan, Weekdays, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., 3 p.m. to 8 p.m., Personal Prayer, Darshan, Sundays, 6 a.m. to 1 p.m., 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Contact Info, Basilica of Our Lady of the Mount, Mount Mary Road, near Shanti of Sadan, Bundra, West, Mumbai, Maharashtra, India. Website www.mountmarybasilicabandra.in. Nearby places Father Aniel is another church sited on Carter Road, close to Mount Mary Church. The famous Joggers Park is also situated in Bundra and is a must visit for all tourists. Connectivity Basilica of Our Lady of the Mount, Bundra is well connected bus station railway station and airport facilities rest of the country. Airways Katrapati Shivaji International Airport, Mumbai, is the closest airport. The Basilica is situated approximately 12 kilometers from the international airport and about 8 kilometers from the domestic airport. Railways The closest railway stop is the historical Bundra Station. It is approximately 2.5 kilometers away. Roadways, the public bus, best, route number 211 from the Bundra station turn arounds at Land's End. From there a fairly steep but short uphill climb, via Cane Road, to the Basilica is required. Another bus route number 214 from the Bundra station too has its turnaround point near the steps of the Mount via St. John the Baptist Road. This bus stop is referred to as Mount Mary Steps. These steps allow one access from the eastern side, but are used only as an exit route during the Bundra Fair in September. If you wish to know more about Catholic Shrine Basilicas, Marian Shrines and Marian Apparitions, subscribe to our Catholic Shrine Basilica YouTube channel. Like and share with your loved ones. For more churches website www.catholicshrinebasilica.com